everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's and today's episode we're going to be um, hopefully doing a ransom Marquis and um, I say hopefully I've now got the oil which is the um, 2050 uh, weight oil um, which is a, um, a Duckham's so we're going to try and get on and do that today um, I'm hoping to get this machine up and running and uh, and doing what it should be doing that's as far as I think I'm aware I need to be I think I'll just put all in it, put the side cover on, do a bit of greasing up, a bit of oiling up, and we are should be good to go. So fingers crossed, eh? If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mars, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my satellite weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's have a look at this ransom mark list and see if we can't get it running. Okay, so all I've done so far, I just took the uh, pull cord assembly back off because my HT lead was going around the back here and I want it to come up along the front so that it would sit directly on top of a spark plug because it wasn't, it wouldn't quite reach. So that's, that's where I want to sit, just like so. So I've just took out two half inch bolts, two seven sixteenths there and there, and just pulled that out and uh, refitted that. Um, so that's good. All I have got to do on here is just this little tiny piece of uh, rubber I need to put on here so I don't get an electric shock. Sometimes if you're a bit, a bit sweaty, you get a shock off of that. I put the, the plug in and the plug I've got is NGK B6HS into there. So that all now should, should work as it should do. Uh, HT can now go back on, like so. Um, I'm gonna spin the machine round now and try and fit the side cover. Uh, do a bit of greasing up and oiling up round there and um, I'll come back in two ticks. Okay, so now let me bring this mower around a bit more so you can see what's going on. Um, there's a grease point just here, which has already been greased. You see the grease come out here, lovely. I've greased that one up. There's a grease point on either side of the cylinder, which has had brand new nipples put in there. I've done that. Um, there's a grease nipple here as well, inside of a clutch plate. That's also been um, replaced with a brand new um, grease nipple and uh, grease as well. I did that off camera the other day. Now there is a bit of a theory and open to argument whether you should grease these chains or you should oil them. And the theory that I've seen plenty of is you should oil chains and grease nipples. That's the argument. Um, as my mate Pete has said, uh, the grease does go quite hard in the winter and loosens up in the summer, so it's vice versa. I think the best method is, is to oil it, and then in the winter, if it requires any more oil or any grease, then add it, and then in, in the summer, spring months, take it off if need be, clean it up and go again. So. I'm going to go with my theory, and that is you should oil the chain. I'm using a three-in-one oil, which is just what you get from all your, your normal um, bike shops and what have you. As you can see, the oil is not actually running into a chain because there is some grease on here already. So, um, you know, first clutch plate is, is chucking grease about as well. So I think that, I think the, the long and short of it is, as long as you maintain the machine, you can sort of gauge whether you need to add grease or add oil. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. So a bit of oil on there. And then you've got this um, screw bolt, which comes off. Now my chains are not slack slack, they're okay. Hopefully they're gonna be tight enough and not jump off, but we should see. To be fair, I'm a little bit nervous actually starting this up. So <laughs> it's been apart for a little while. Hopefully my guard of gold has got layers of paint now, so I have to do a bit of banging with a rubber mallet to get it to fit. But it used to fit absolutely lovely. So now I can now put that in. Like so, get a big flat headed screwdriver. So then with a the cover on, um, it should fit quite well. Um, it fitted very well before it, it had paint added, but obviously it's had quite a few layers of paint added now, so it may want a bit of, bit of nurturing love to put on and you just screw this one down all the way home until it's tight and just double check it's pushing in on all points and that should be tight enough good enough for me so that's that right next we want to um put some oil in this machine and some petrol um so i'll spin it round two ticks right so to fill this up um simply undo the uh, all fill at the front comes out there's no oil in this machine at all and what you're looking for is just inside here you'll see there is um, probably about 30 threads and I'm going to fill this machine up just to the bottom of that thread level so I'll put some rags around it and then start to fill it up and I'll come back once I've got it to the correct level 
where I think it should be, and then uh, I'll pull it over a few times. Um, I don't want it to start, so I'll take the HTE off, just pull it over, and then check the level again. I think I'm nearly there. I've got my little tiny uh, torch here. I'll come right in with you, and you can see pretty much I'm right at the bottom of the threads on the um, on the oil level. It can probably have to have a touch more, but I want to run it up first. Uh, not get it too hot, just sort of just give it a run. But you can see that we're darn near at the bottom of the threads on the um, on the level. That's roughly where it needs to be. So super happy. Um, let me now have a bit of a clean up, and I'll come back to you in two ticks. Okay, so now I've put a bit more fuel in. I'm going to release the fuel tap now to double check. I've not got no fuel leaks anywhere on this machine because it, it, that's one thing I suffered with a little while ago. Um, so let's pull the tap out, and we'll see the fuel come out of here, which it does. Down it comes. Round it comes and just go into the car, but I just see that go into there. So I'm just gonna wait just for two or three seconds just to make sure that it is actually doing what it should be doing. Um, last time it was it was leaking as I say, so we don't want nothing to leak um, when we're trying to fire this machine up. So I'm gonna give it two or three minutes just, just to set itself down and um, pull the machine over very, very gently with the HT off just to get that um, cylinder nice and oiled up. And I'll meet you outside and we'll go for a fire up very shortly. I may have to tune some of the um, throttle cables and bits and pieces. Um, we should see how we get on with that because um, um, I'm not quite sure where the throttle is set to as of yet but I want it to be set nice and low and um, so that the drive cuts in at the right time and so does the blaze cut in the right time. I may also have to adjust the cylinder um, once uh, we get it running to, if I can hear any striking noises I want to stop and just readjust that so a bit of fine tweaking going on but uh, hopefully all being well and good i'll meet you outside in two ticks okay and here it is finished project um i'm hoping it's going to start i haven't even tried to start it as of yet but uh from how it came to me to how it is now i think you've got to agree it uh, it does look so much better hey uh, i've got a number i've got the old id plate all done up as well that was quite cool um yeah it certainly look, looks apart now so i'm super impressed with it how it has turned out um, so now let's try and fire this machine up. Let me just get the tripod set up and I'll come back to you. Okay, Ransom Marquis test fire number one. Let's see how we get on. Can you believe it? First pull. It may cut out, it was a bit of fine tuning, but uh, it's idling quite low. Do you know what, that may be just about right. We shall see. I'm gonna reposition the camera now and uh, try and shoot up and down the garden. The grass is nowhere near long enough for me to cut. The grass is dead, I'm afraid, but we'll see how we get on and uh, see if that drive works as well. 
Okay, hope I've got enough, enough life in the old battery uh, to do this. I'm going to run up the garden now and uh, see if that drive works. It's set to its highest setting because the grass is, is completely dead. It's not going to cut anything, but just want to make sure that drive cuts it. Boom! And there you have it. Ransom Marquist now all fully done and complete and started first pull. And that's no gimmick. That was exactly as is. You saw it first here. It's been apart for about three months. It's been an absolute labour of love. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's had ups and downs and had sweat and blood and it's had everything put, on, put into that mower. And I am super impressed with it. There's a little tiny vibration coming, I think, from the front cog on the cylinder which is where I heat it up. I may have to take that back off just to straighten it back up. It's only when it really is running quite quick. And trust me, you don't want that thing running too fast because you'll be into a full jog going down the garden to cut the grass. So it's running exactly as it should do. It idles absolutely beautiful and it sounds absolutely A1. And having the correct oil in there also does help. It has pulled the compression back up as well. The compression was a little bit sloppy at first, I thought. Um, before I drain all the oil out, but now it's got the right oil in it. Um, it the compression is quite hard to pull over. Mrs. Uh, P and Nana are going to struggle to start that. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little episode of the Ransom Marquis. I will try and put them all into a, um, a playlist so you can watch it from start to finish. And um, I am super impressed. I was a bit nervous to start it up in case it didn't want to run, but it ran and it started first pull. And I'm super, super happy. I hope you can tell by the smile on my face. I'm chuffed to bits that that little lawnmower has been saved. Not just from a scrap heap, but you know, that, that is part of English heritage as far as I'm concerned. It's a vintage lawnmower and deserves to be looking nice. And that one I have it put into my storage shed and I have a dust sheet front over it and I should use it on a regular basis when the lawn requires it. Um, I have to use a haste to get rid of the big stuff, but uh, I should put the, um, the ransom marquis over it when, uh, when I can to give it some nice stripes. Anyway, this is time, first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers. Hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all, and give us a big thumbs up because I really have really super enjoyed this little episode of um, the Ransom Marcus. It's been an absolute labour of love. I really have enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. Leave all your comments down below, and I look forward to your next episode very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy. <laughs>